Hey guys, so I decided to film this bun tutorial of how you can create this fabulous bun and rock it. Um, this is definitely on some very, very old hair. Um, as you can see on my Instagram, I've been doing my buns rather frequently lately as I've moved to New York and was trying to stretch out an old bantu knot on straight hair. So check this tutorial out if you want to learn how to create this fabulous bun. So let's get started. The things you'll need are a hair tie, depending on how much hair you have and what you did, like a wash and go, I would definitely need a bigger hair tie than this. Um, bobby pins, whatever kind of hair cream that you want. This is Salih Wajad Curly Curl Cream. Um, picked this up from CVS, I think it was like $9. And this coconut oil conditioner and hair dressing I'm going to use for my edges. Um, I also got this for CVS. I think it was like a, it was like less than two dollars. This does have parabens in it. I'm going to be washing my hair uh, very soon, so I don't really mind using this for today. And um, a scarf to kind of lay down your edges even more. So let's get started. You can also use a brush and a comb for this if you want a little bit more sleeker look. I don't really mind when it's a little rougher, so um, I'm not going to be using any brush. So, first thing you do is take that hair tie, put it around your hand, um, take a little bit of this, your curl cream, or whatever cream that you'll be using. Put that in your hands. Um, this one necessarily isn't like a white white, but it's white enough. Um, but so my ends and of course all of my outside edges to kind of smooth down. So flip over and you're going to have your ponytail as high as you can get it so as close to your hairline as possible. Um, you can do this off to the side if you want. Um, a little off center or whatever. I like mine pretty centered as I'm not using the mirror today. We'll see how this works out. So I'm just going to push all this hair starting from the back to the front. And you're just going to gather. So hold this as much as, like, as tight as possible. And then you're going to take your hair tie. And bring it over. So what I try not to do is let go with my right hand just yet. Get all the hair out with my left hand. Twist and then let go. Then I'm gonna bring this through to the other side. So now we're just going to pull, you see that there's like a section that isn't as smooth as you may want it, it may be a little bumpy, um, just pull. So now, this thing that looks like this. Okay, so gather all of your hair together, like at the end, um, pull out any strands, and then you're just going to like kind of lightly twist it a little bit and then pull it as far over as possible. You don't want this super tight. Because the tighter you do this, the smaller you bun. And then we're going to secure in that the vibe band. Now I just have all these like, little pieces. And again, I'm not using a mirror, so I'm trying to do this by feeling. So now we have this piece and a piece here. I'm just going to take those. Take another bobby pin. Secure it in place. Come with all of this. Take all of that. And it's a little flat on this side. So I'm going to bring it to this side. Okay. 
the bobby pin. Secure it in the back. So, and then whatever pieces you can still like secure them or tuck them in wherever it may be necessary. So there's my bun. You're gonna have like so many different variations of this. Um, for edges, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Not much at all. Literally about that much, which is like nothing. This is kind of clear, so I'm sorry. Can you see it? I'm gonna smooth back these edges. Take our scarf. Triangle it up, because this is a square one. As you guys can see. So, I'm just gonna take this with the other side. Now let's triangle. Take the long side of the triangle, put it at the nape of your neck, here, and then tie it around and secure in the back. Crazy faces. Okay, I take my ears out. And then you're totally just for about 20 minutes, so you're just doing this before you do your makeup. And, um, we should take the scarf off and you'll have your final results. So let me know how you guys like this. If you guys want more tutorials of, you know, how I kind of put different styles that I've just now started to do um, in between like wash and goes or this was an old blowout. My hair was kind of straight. Then I put it in like a crown twist twist out situation and now we've got a bun so um so yeah so that's kind of what I did to get the hair that I had so um yeah thumbs up subscribe follow me on Instagram Twitter all of that stuff check out my blog um I'll show you guys kind of what my twist out looked like before it fell and looked like it did in the beginning of this video and um, I'll put a link below or in this video somewhere um, of how that was and yeah so just let me know uh, sorry it's been so long it definitely is gonna be more videos coming up of products and hair and fashion and all that stuff so talk to you guys soon bye